Hi, welcome to the Mighty Alert for Friday, the 8th of May 2020. So we can see here the Nasdaq erases all of the 2020 losses, uh, negative rates uh, forecast, send yields to the lows. So let's uh, start off with uh, the main news for yesterday unemployment, jobless claims. Uh, another 3.2 trillion lose their jobs in the US, bringing the total to, uh, as it says here at the top, uh, 33 million during pandemic. And it still hasn't finished. It's going to take a lot to get back down to the 200,000 levels uh, that uh, we see over here, 212,000 at the beginning of uh, January. So let's have a look at the market's reaction uh, to this uh, yesterday. This is uh, where it was. Uh, the market moved down 50 points and then returned back uh, uh, about, well, 50 points and then traded sideways until we opened. The market uh, then rallied and put in the usual uh, retracement, uh, which you can see here from this low to this high. You'll see uh, 78.89 for this level. And then the market uh, moves higher and it gets into a range and you can see up to 78. And then from this low to this high, 78. And then eventually the market uh, breaks out uh, from here, uh, but not for long. And then puts in uh, a triple top there, which you can see the market banging its head there three times before it then uh, moves lower. Following the uh, afternoon session in New York, or during the afternoon session as uh, traders leave and go for lunch. But as soon as they return, you can see the market then uh, move lower uh, sharply by uh, 150 points back to the 200 MA. And then uh, a, the classic rally before the close, uh, bringing back 50%, uh, 62% of the losses. And then overnight, uh, I don't know what's happened here, but uh, there's no stopping it uh, at the moment. Uh, we're up 100, 200, 300 points on the overnight. Um, it, it is just uh, beyond belief now. And the disconnect, as I keep uh, going on about, is just staggering, absolutely staggering. Here we've got another 3 million laid off. Uh, we've also got uh, Kashgari saying that unemployment, the unemployment rate is as high as 24%. That's going a lot higher. And uh, yeah, you just couldn't make this stuff up. You really couldn't. Um, there was something else that I had for you as well. Uh, yes, this was the, uh, uh, the negative rates. But I'm going to come back to that. I'm jumping around a bit here. Let me go back to the markets. Uh, so yeah, we're up 300 points. Uh, overnight and uh, you can see this now the market heading for the 62.76 as uh, prices continue back towards uh, the high that we see here around the 24,951 area and of course today the UK market is closed it's a bank holiday here in observation of the veteran day celebrations however uh, the criminals out again today Lagarde is speaking uh, once more and uh, we've got uh, the UNS, uh, of course, uh, the uh, non-farm payrolls uh, again at uh, 22 million from uh, 701k uh, previous, which we had a, a taster of on Wednesday. But no doubt uh, they'll use this as an excuse to uh, move the market set back to the upside once more. So wouldn't be surprised at all. In the weekly chart, uh, price is uh, back above uh, the 50%. And in the monthly chart, uh, price is also back above the 50% retracement now, heading towards that uh, 62 area there. So, as it said in the headlines uh, over here, that uh, negative rates are forecast. Uh, this is just in incredible, isn't it? You know, we've got a situation uh, where the, the market's uh, pricing in negative rates for January now. Uh, as can be seen here, funds, uh, the, the Fed funds implied rates uh, are going to be negative. Oh, we said that we'll end up with uh, NERP. You've got ZERP, which is zero rates, and NERP negative. And uh, yeah, by the time we get to January, it's going to be uh, Armageddon, uh, as far as I can see, because we're going to get a second wave of the virus. Um, there's no doubts about that. 
Uh, doesn't seem to be any easing of the lockdowns here in the UK either. So, uh, and this is what it's all about, uh, vaccinations, but I'm not going to go down that route in uh, this uh, uh, market alert because it's about the financial markets. But uh, there's some very uh, sinister things that appears to be uh, afoot. And uh, as I've said before, the main uh, thing with the virus is that it, uh, it takes people's attention away from the financial markets and the economy and they can do whatever they want. And, and doing whatever they want. Yesterday, the Bank of England, uh, Bailey, I forgot that uh, Barmy Khan is gone. We've now got crazy Bailey. Uh, no big distinction between Bank of England policy, and this is the most important bit here, open-ended QE. We've now entered into the realms of uh, printing presses 24 hours a day, and uh, anything to try and keep the illusion alive that everything is fine. And the money goes straight to the bankers, then into the stock markets, which is why you're seeing what you're seeing with uh, the markets. And as it says here, Bank of England tees up another 100 billion in QE. Not as uh, busy as in the US, as far as the printing presses are concerned, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's measured as a percentage of uh, debt, uh, GD, debt to GDP, uh, which is uh, moving up uh, very nicely. And with GDP about to fall off the cliff for every uh, economy that's been in a lockdown or currently in one and uh, we are really going to end up in a serious serious mess but it makes you wonder whether it's all engineered so they can reset the debt it's a question that i've asked for a very very long time that in order to be um, blameless there had to be something where all bankers central bankers would be uh, without blame no prison sentences etc just print money out of fresh air create the uh, fraudulent funny money not backed by anything and uh, then uh, destroy the system so it can be reset so uh, yeah it's interesting because uh, the gold and silver markets are moving as well precious metals are moving to the upsides and certainly are in the physical markets where it's difficult to get hold of the physical silver and um, yeah it's selling at a premium as well so We'll, uh, we'll see how today pans out, but at the moment the markets uh, managed to uh, move 300 points uh, overnight with absolutely no resistance whatsoever. So it's going to be down to the uh, non-farm figures, which will be out at 1.30. So let's see what happens then. Okay, that will uh, do it for this one. The insanity continues, but uh, again, no surprise there. And uh, yeah, it's a VE day for the UK today, but I'll still be at my post because, uh, like I say, the US are open. It's only uh, the UK uh, today. Okay, that's it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.